A warm greetings to everyone. Agriculture Makers team welcomes you to this video. And I am very much glad to meet you all again in this video. And as we said before, in the entomology based video that the social life of insects are very much important for examination point of view. In that way, in this video, we are going to see about the social life of termites. Come on, let's get into the video. Scientifically, termite belong to the order Isoptera and family Termitidae. Termites are said to be social insects because they live in colonies or they have different kind of caste in their living. Yes, a colony of termite contains three forms that is three castes and those include workers, soldiers and reproductives. Reproductives refers to the king and the queen. Coming to the reproductives first, there are two types, primary and secondary. And the primary reproductives includes king, queen and swarmer. While the secondary reproductives are the primary source of egg production supporting the queen. And the king and queen are the colony's founders and they are responsible for increasing the colony's population. Coming to the workers, workers make up nearly 90 to 95 percent of the colony population and they are sterile, wingless and blind. But remember in case of your honey bee, the workers are also sterile but they have been developed from fertile eggs. And the sex is irrelevant because they are immature and they do not reproduce. And the exoskeleton or cuticle is soft and uncolored instead of pale white. And the worker's job is to take care of the family members. Coming to that of the soldiers. Soldiers make up 1-3% to of the colony's population. They are also wingless, blind and they too lack pigment. They use the mandibles to secrete a toxin from their head to ward off their invaders so that they are called as soldiers. And these soldiers are identified more easily by their mouth part which are unique while comparing to the others. And these soldiers are unable to feed themselves and they are fed by the workers. Coming to the mature reproductive adults, there are usually 5 to 10 kings that mate with the queen throughout their lifetime and these adults are the swarmer termites and they swarm to find their mates and there is usually only one queen but if the colony is large there may be two or more queens and the king and queen are the only reproductively active members of the colony and they are dark brown in pigment and fully developed wings they have. But the other members are not colored and they do not have wings and they are blind. And you can see the picture here. It is the worker termite and it is the soldier. You can see the mandible here and it is the king and you can see the queen here. Coming to the next most important point, it is the rectal pouch. Flagellates that is protozoans are present in the ileum of the hind gut and it is not the rectum, it is the ileum of the hind gut and where it helps in the digestion of cellulose in the primitive type of termites. And the part is known as the rectal pouch and coming to the next, the fungal garden, the habitation that is the living place of the termites contains fungal garden. It is actually developed by the termites and it is composed of spongy dark brown reddish coral like combs and this fungus are fed to the nymphs and this fungus is not only used for feeding the nymphs instead they also maintains the moisture and the humidity of the nests of the termites. Coming to the locomotion and forage, as the worker and soldier lacks wings, they never fly. 
and the reproductives use their wing only for a brief amount of time and they predominantly rely upon their legs for movement coming to that of communication as most termites are blind they use pheromones for the communication including for foraging locating reproductives finding their nest mates or fighting with enemies etc and the most common way of communication is through antenation coming to the damage symptoms caused by the termites in plants includes its main attack is on the roots so that the roots will be come up above the soil resulting in reduced water uptake leading to defoliation chlorosis and wilting of the whole plant the variety of attack starts from the seedling stage itself and it even attacks a big crop leading to a huge crop loss usually banding with coal tar and lime is used for protecting from termites and also biological control methods are there the alats that is the winged termites are known as alats have a variety of natural enemies so that they can be used for the control of termites and coming to the nests and mounds and the nests can be separated into three categories as subterranean epigeal and arboreal and subterranean refers to completely below ground nest and epigeal refers to above ground soil surface and arboreal refers to the nest that are built above ground but it is always connected to the ground via shelter tubes and this is all about the social life of termites and you have to keep in mind about the different castes and their important characteristics and i hope the video will be very much useful to you thank you for all your supports and do subscribe our channel for the next earliest updates by tapping on the bell icon thank you and see you all again